all right hi guys welcome back welcome back to the channel i hope that everybody is doing really really well so gemini's we're going to jump into your two videos for the day we're going to start off with your no contact read because i feel like that's the one that you guys be waiting for um so let's just jump into it you guys and see if this resonates with you if it does then go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the yt if it doesn't, I will have the playlist linked below in the description box. And tomorrow, you guys, I'm going to push out some detailed videos, so watch out for that. Have your popcorns, your drinks. But for today, we're just going to push out this no contact read. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, what's the energy for Gemini, this person that is coming through, this person that has no communication with Geminis, this person that is thinking about Gemini, the person that Gemini is thinking about as well. What is going on? What's coming through for Gemini? Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for being here with Gemini's energy. Let's see what we have, y'all. Oop. Oop. Okay, one at a time, please. Thank you. One at a time for gems. Queen of Cups. What is this? The Four of Cups. Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor Energy. We have the King as well of Pentacles. Wow, a lot of masculine coming through here. A lot of security. Okay. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, even Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, even Aries. Hmm. I'm feeling like someone is losing faith and hope that this person is ever going to give them for some form of offer or, you know, come back to them or be with them. This is what I'm seeing here because this person is showing up as someone that is making moves. I'm also seeing that you're waiting. Even though there's a separation here and no communication, there's still an energy of waiting. There's still an energy of like, okay, um... I really want to give this person the benefit of, of the doubt. Like this person is going to choose me, but I'm only getting like half fit energy. So when this person wants something, this person shows up. And when this person doesn't want anything, they disappear. They're in and out. And a lot of you are saying you're over this because this is the over, over it card. But at the same time, there's no movement of letting go of this person. So the only thing that I'm seeing here is like mutual energy for you and this person, masculine and feminine energy that is coming together. It doesn't make sense, but somehow there is something there. I'm seeing that you and this person is not on the same length of vibration right now. Like you just want different things and you don't trust this person either because I'm seeing that you're blocking this force of energy or blocking this person's energy from you because you're trying to protect your mental state. But I'm also seeing a lot of success here, but it's like it's not the right time. Tell me more about the star energy because I'm getting like the universe is not trying to push this right now. Even though there is like a lot of masculine movement here, it's not about being in charge, but it's a lot of going after success and stability and legacy and making sure that that is something to be taken care of. Tell me about this star. Yeah, there's an energy of walking away, moving on, learning from the situation. I just saw like... A like a friendship vibe coming towards you when I was juggling these cards. But tell me more, Holy Spirit, with this Six of Swords. Wow. It's like I'm getting like... There's a learning effect here. And if this is going to happen right now, I'm just getting like, it's not going to be the universe playing a part. It's going to be this person because their energy is so masculine. And I'm seeing like this person wants to, to have a future, but again, something about the truth 
and something about a lesson okay tell me more holy spirit holy angels holy father it's no contact energy no contact energy okay well you know what since it fell this way i'm gonna do it this way incompletion within the world being here then you have the nine of wands energy the eight of pentacles you have the wheel of fortune so you have two rounds about so this is a cycle because i'm getting like cycle vibes in the four of cups i'm getting cycle vibes in the world i'm getting cycle vibes in the wheel of fortune i'm also getting that there's an energy of a not changing as yet like this person has a lot of work to be done first before they can before there is a breakthrough here like this person has a lot to like to better themselves or to better their skills i'm also seeing like there's a lot of burnout energy tell me more about this nine wow two of cups energy so you guys have some form of like you know again the similarities that i was talking about earlier the queen of pentacles king of pentacles energy there is like this um vibe but you're just not vibrating the right vibration like you both are just doing different things instead of like this could be a powerful connection but you just go in your separate ways and that's okay because everything is about learning here not every contract that you're supposed to experience is supposed to be together you know throughout the whole process sometimes we need to separate and this um separation or this transition is needed it's saying it's needed here oh well needed like this is well needed this is why the, the universe is like, no, it's not the right time. This person needs to figure out some things. This person needs to learn the lesson that their guys are trying to show them. And they can come back or you guys can get together until that moment. But the love is still so mutual. Like you guys have mutual feelings towards each other. I'm also seeing here like it's not one or the other. It's just that you have, especially when it comes about stability, because this is all about stability here. Like you just see things differently then we have the moon energy the ace of pentacles the ten of swords energy tell me more holy spirit the death is also coming through scorpio's energy for those of you who are dealing with a scorpio but i'm seeing the break here and it's not lifted you guys so the communication is not lifted i'm also seeing like this person is holding back and because they hold back from you and didn't tell you some things you know it kind of looked like well it did look like that they deceited and lied to you and betrayed you um this could have came off like a public betrayal with family with friends for those of you this is, seems like a lot of people here i'm also seeing that this is not quite over remember you have the incompletion but the angels are also saying like look the moon is just a warning okay like you still have time to fix this this ace of pentacles for some of you this could be someone that you're married to but i'm seeing like there's a lot of physical or um mental healing that needs to occur here there's a lot of forgiveness a lot of letting go that needs to occur as well within this ten of swords energy okay um and i feel like this is the lesson for those of you as well because if you go back together within the same motion it's just not going to work and this is why this is so important this breakthrough this learning from this person to receive that force of information from their angel guides so i'm also getting pisces energy here as well for those of you that are with a pisces gemini aquarius taurus leo the same thing here but this is aquarius scorpio and also um taurus leo for major arcana we have Aries here as well for those of you anybody else holy spirit scorpio that is also coming twice within the wheel of fortune and plus within the the death here okay all right so tell me more holy spirit gemini's your readings be getting so juicy <laughs> i'd be you know your readings just be getting so juicy all the time all right so we have the ooh, okay this one's to be shown as well so we have the six of pentacles here the four of pentacles the four of pentacles two of pentacles wow there's a lot of pentacles energy talk about this one i just feel like oh major you know twist in energy and shift like even though this is a you know this is also pointing to um 
like really saving some kind of relationship here that could be that could really be very well I really end up to be very well because I'm seeing abundance here right but I'm also getting for those of you who are working on something I'm getting new money okay and I'm, the reason why I brought this up because I'm seeing too many pentacles you know before it was okay fine but now the angels are like look pentacles 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 so there was some kind of imbalance here so a lot of you are just given given a lot and you need to really watch out for this and I'm also seeing some kind of spending so a lot of you are spending but there is something coming in here and there was something going back and forth okay so this person could have went back and forth with you um, or a lot of you could have had two jobs or didn't have enough time okay and was going back and forth and now you need to make a decision to keep one but I really feel like this person was going back and forth with you this is what I'm feeling here this person was giving you half fit energy with which which was the four of Pentacles and because you have the four of cups energy and that's just a confirmation here and I'm really feeling like this person was holding on to you okay and giving you this or this was okay for them to give you this force of energy and you wanted more this thing was just like giving me instability <laughs> i'm just getting like it's instability a lot of you lost yourself here within this connection tell me more look at this the ten of pentacles oh my god the ace of pentacles in the upright but they have the ten of pentacles so this is something new coming in obviously a lot of you are losing a lot a lot of your independence a lot of your freedom a lot of your money look at that money 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 okay um within the eight of pentacles as well this person could have lost their job um, but I'm also seeing that you guys been apart for a while tell me more about this three of uh, wands energy holy spirit so we have the justice so yeah they're coming towards you within the justice they're giving you that justice tell me more but at the same time they're telling you the truth trying to bring balance back but they're confused tell me more the devil's energy so they're stuck and this needs time and balance so ooh. There's something toxic happening here, you guys. This is what I'm seeing, gems. I mean, they care about you a lot. They love you a lot. But there's a lot of toxic vibes. I'm getting Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. I'm getting Sag here. Look at all these major arcanas. Look. All these major arcanas. I shouldn't even show you the devil like that. <laughs> Let's hope I don't get strike for that or get in trouble. But this is what we have right here. A lot of major arcanas, a lot of major shifts, a lot of major changes that are occurring within this read. And the angels are saying to choose yourself at this time within temperance and trust the universe and trust the process. A lot of you are anxious, like, are this person coming back to me? Or this person, you know, love me? Do this person love me? Like you're asking questions, tell me more, but you need to know, like, yeah, they love you. Yeah, they're coming towards you, but they're quite um, confused. I'm seeing the 10 too. Wow, the 10 of cups. So this person is giving me two vibes of 10 that is very exciting. I'm having the wheel, the wheel of fortune, which is in the upright. So clearly this is um, an incompletion, and that is also being confirmed over here. That this is an incompletion there's more lessons to be learned within this connection and this person is looking at you as not in, even in separation so this person is still looking at you as in the upright energy okay um, but this person is stuck in a situation right now which been for so long and I feel like this person did not sacrifice or didn't make a move towards you and now they're trying to make that move they abandoned this relationship for some of you and I'm seeing like they're trying to really undo that energy look at that the sacrifice hangman energy this is because they didn't sacrifice all of this and now they're trying to come in pisces for those of you they have to make a difficult decision here they want to come back in the tower aries and scorpio this is what i have for you i hope it resonates and if it does you know what to do like this video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel support your channel you guys um support your videos and i will see you guys in your next one